is Aaron Yeager really the bad guy that the ending of Attack on Titan is painting him out to be? Quick disclaimer, if you guys are not up to date with the manga or if you're anime only, this might not be the video for you because there will be tons of spoilers and I don't want to ruin this for you guys. Is Aaron Yeager really the bad guy in Attack on Titan? Well, my answer is no. Wait, 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 hear me out. Don't get me wrong, Aaron did a lot of questionable things. Okay, okay, so aside from belly flopping on groups of civilians, Aaron's not really that bad. Okay, he's not really the villain. Let's take a step back and think back to when Aaron Kruger first met Grisha Yeager. <laughs> At this point in the timeline, Mikasa, Armin, and young Eren Yeager was not born yet, but future Eren, using his Titan abilities, told Kruger to tell Grisha to protect Mikasa and Armin. This contradicts everything going on in the manga because Eren activated the rumbling, so at this point, it's looking like it's Eren versus the world, but that's just what he wants us to think. Eren knows that the entire world, not just Marley, hate and fear the Eldians. As stated in chapter 107 by Kiyomi Azumbido, this leaves parody with three options. Option one, activate the rumbling. Option two, advance parody's military with the help of the nation of Hizuru. However, this would take almost 50 years because Parody is about 100 years behind the rest of the world. Or, option three, force Historia and or Zeke to have children, but this would mean they would be forced to die after 13 years due to the curse of Ymir and eat each other to keep possession of the founding titan. Aaron's defining characteristic is his ambition of freedom, so naturally he wouldn't agree with option number three. The problem with the second option is that they don't have 50 years because Willie Tiber turned the world against the devils of parody in his speech and the rest of the world isn't going to wait around for 50 years for parody to become a relevant military power. This leaves Aaron with just the option to activate the rumbling to guarantee the survival of parody island. When Aaron activated the rumbling, he chose not to take away freedom from his old friends. In chapter 133, he told everyone the only way to stop him is to end his life. This results in an alliance between Parody and the rest of the world in order to stop Eren. This is exactly what Eren wanted. He knew his friends wouldn't agree with him destroying the world and the rest of the world wouldn't just sit back and be destroyed. Eren knows that he has a limited time left to live due to the curse of Ymir, so sacrificing himself to guarantee the survival of his friends would make sense in order to guarantee their survival. So now the question becomes, will Eren survive or will Eren die? Before I tell you guys what I think, go ahead and comment right now if you think Eren is going to live or if Eren is going to die. Honestly, I would very much like Eren to survive the end of the series. However, we are aware of the fact that Eren only has a few years left to live because of the curse of Ymir. That being said, Isayama already let us know that we are going to lose Eren pretty soon actually. It really wouldn't make any difference if Eren was to die during the end of the final confrontation because he's going to lose his life anyways. I think it would make a lot of sense if Eren had sacrificed himself and he ended up giving his life to unite the world and save everyone. I bet you guys thought I forgot about the elephant in the room. And that is Ymir. Because when Eren actually activated the rumbling, he freed Ymir from her shackles. She's no longer a slave to the paths anymore. So if Eren was to die, the real question becomes what happens with Ymir? There's always a possibility of Ymir rising up and becoming the big bad villain after the defeat of Eren, but with only three chapters left in one of those chapters, um, chapter 137 being leaked, Eren actually is it's, it's seemingly defeated. Here's what I think. Since Eren saved Ymir from being a slave for all of those years, Ymir's going to see Eren die or almost die, and she's going to do something similar to what she did with Zeke when he was fighting Levi and he basically died but she resurrected him or prevented him from dying. Then after resurrecting Eren, maybe 
plot armor times 1 million character Gabby does a 360 quick scope and kills Emir. That'd be fucking stupid, right? But hey, hasn't everything else Gabby done up until this point been ridiculously absurd? So with Emir dead, there would be no more Titan threat. The world would never have to fear Eldians again. Although they did form an alliance, there was no guarantee that after the rumbling was stopped that they wouldn't go back to mistreating each other or mistreating the Eldians. With the mirror gone, all the Titan shifters would lose their powers because she's no longer in the Titan realm to create their Titans. As a result of that, the curse of Ymir becomes lifted and all of the current Titan shifters get to live their full lives. Eren now fully resurrected gets a second chance at life with Mikasa, Armin, and the others. The world realizes that the only way to escape the cycle of hatred it has lived in for the past 2,000 years is to let go and forgive. Therefore, the world forgives Eren. Eren and Mikasa marry, Armin and Annie marry, and they travel the world free together. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you smack that like button, you subscribe so you don't miss any future content, and comment to let me know how I've done. I've never done a video like this before, and I'll be sure to bring you guys more if you guys enjoy this. And uh, I should mention that my original video for this was going to be a lot different. I spent a lot of time um, finding clips from the anime and panels from the manga, however, the video I uploaded before this um, actually received a copyright strike on my channel and if you're not aware of what that means, that means that if I was to get two more copyright strikes by using copyrighted material, my channel would be on grounds for termination. So I don't want to lose my channel so I can bring you guys more content. So I went ahead and took as much as I could out of the video as far as copyrighted material goes. So I just slapped some gameplay from the Attack on Titan VR game that I had in another one of my videos so I hope you guys wouldn't mind that and you can understand but uh, yeah just make sure you guys like comment and subscribe